Hey guys, thanks for coming back to On The Go Crypto. Today I'm going to show you how to buy Caspa, quick and easy, three different exchange options that are currently available for Caspa. A lot of people have been asking, uh, how can I buy Caspa before it goes up? Well, I'm going to tell you how. I want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing. Please do go ahead and like the video, guys. It really does help me out and get the algorithm going. So go ahead and give it a like and let's get started. Each of these, you're going to need to get a VPN. If you're in the United States, which I'm assuming most of you are, uh, most of my audience seems to be in the U.S. or Australia, Canada, the U.K. Uh, if you're in a restricted country for direct crypto purchases, uh, which the United States is, you need a VPN. This is not a link for me. I don't make any money off of this. I'm showing you where to go find it for free. NordVPN.com. Go slash pricing. It'll bring up the plans. Look how cheap this is. And you have a 30-day 30 30 money-back guarantee, so after you buy your Caspa, just cancel it if you don't want to use it anymore, and then it's free. So first one up is KuCoin, guys. KuCoin is a great trusted exchange. No breaches, very reliable. You just simply log in, and none of these, you, you don't, don't, I'm not going to give you any links to click to go and, you know, uh, give me a commission off any of these exchanges. I'm just telling you how to find it for free. You come in here, create a KuCoin account, and you can, with that NordVPN setup, it takes 5-10 minutes to set up the NordVPN after you buy the, uh, the purchase for the uh, subscription. Come in here, it'll take you another 5-10 minutes to buy. USDT is the trading pair here, Caspa USDT. You're going to buy USDT with your uh, debit card, and you're going to swap it here in spot trading. It's important to remember that, spot trading for Caspa very easy you'll have it and then you will off ramp it you don't want to ever leave your crypto on an exchange you never want to leave a crypto on an exchange for any period of time so you want to offload this to your caspium mobile wallet if you're using the mobile wallet they do have a desktop version i'll make a video about that as well with the same mechanics but caspium if you go to the official caspa twitter they have a post here if you click on the link in the post, it'll bring you to their website with the official announcement with the official wallets, App Store, Google Play, very quick setups, just like other digital wallets, you know, nothing, nothing special, nothing extra, very simple. Um, and, and if you guys let me know in the comments, if you need a video about how to set up a digital wallet for the first time, just let me know. Um, you will send this to that mobile wallet address and get it off this exchange, and then boom, you've got your Caspa. Another popular exchange, BitMart, with the same scenario. You will have to set up uh, your VPN, and have, once you have your VPN, you'll have no restrictions, no banner coming across telling you that this is restricted in your area. It will not basically know you're in a restricted area, and it's completely legal. There's nothing to worry about. Same concept. You're going to come into BitMart. You're going to come here to buy and sell. You're going to click buy crypto. You're going to use a debit card. Uh, it'll say buy with a debit card. You'll buy with a debit card. And the same pair exists here, Caspa and USDT. You'll buy USDT with your debit card, swap it for Caspa, send it from this to your Caspian mobile wallet address. You're good to go. The third is probably a more popular one today. They're, they've really got their stuff together. Um, the really pretty exchange to look at here. It's easy on the eyes. The UI is really, really friendly and... Uh, it's just it's just easy to use. The layout on MEXC is really really nice. So um, MEXC, I use it a lot. <clears throat> Same thing. You need the NordVPN, and here we even have the banner still. Your IP and nationally, uh, your IP and nationally nationality indicate that you are located in a country or region where MEXC services are restricted. Blah blah blah. This is what I'm talking about, guys. No big deal. You just just ignore it. It's not a big deal. If you had the NordVPN. It wouldn't be here. You don't have to worry about it. So it actually won't even show up. So same concept. Same pair exists here. Caspa, USDT. You're going to buy Caspa, or excuse me, you're going to buy USDT directly with a debit card. You're going to go to buy crypto, debit card. You're going to buy USDT however much you want. There will be a minimum. It varies per exchange, but it's not very much. Anywhere from $25 to $50. Then you're going to swap it for Caspa, and you will, again, send it from MEXC to your Caspian mobile wallet address uh, or your desktop wallet if you're using the desktop. And guys, the desktop wallet and the mobile wallet are equally as secure. They're both Caspa dev products, so you don't have to worry about using their mobile wallet if it's thinking it's sketchy or something. It's not. It's 100% uh, reliable, just like the desktop wallet. 
and and then you're good. That's literally it. It's not that big of a deal. It's not very hard. You see the Casper Twitter followers here growing every day, 88.7,000. That's going to be 188.7,000 when they get listed on crypto.com. All these newbie exchanges are loaded with people that are terrified to buy cryptos on anything that's not a tier one exchange. I mean, if you come here to coin market cap and hit markets, these are the only things that it's listed on. People don't know these that aren't experienced crypto people. I mean, these exchanges are not common in the United States for new people, greenies, newbies, whatever. You know, Bybit, all these, all these things are, are kind of scary to navigate. Crypto.com has a very easy for new people exchange. I mean, it's so easy to use. And that's why people stick with Crypto.com, Binance, Coinbase. They're just so easy and quote-unquote safe, new people friendly. So, guys, this is the time to get in on Casper, not after it gets listed on the Tier 1 exchanges. This stair step is going to be way over here past the top corner of my monitor whenever it gets listed on Coinbase or Crypto.com. Um, it's, it's the time, guys. It's not financial advice like usual on this channel. It's just common sense. If you wait until after the train is halfway to the station, you know, it's still not a bad buy because this coin is going to be a face melter. But why wouldn't you get in at four cents before it gets up to eighty, a dollar twenty, three dollars? That's it's insane. You know what I mean? So don't don't wait like the rest of the sheep guys. Get your Casper. There's nothing to be worried about. Uh, give me a comment down in the comments if you have any questions about anything, guys. Let me know. Um, until then. I really appreciate it. Please do give me a like if you guys think I earned it, and uh, I'll get a desktop mob or excuse me, a desktop wallet uh, video out for this. Until then, guys, stay calm and make your money. Thanks again.